Hi guys, Dane here, and today I want to do something a little bit different. So today I want to talk about my mental health story, basically just in the hope that it maybe helps somebody else. I always kind of think it's better to get these kind of things out in the open. I've also seen some other male YouTubers talk about mental health as well. Um, Cam over at Wolfshop Publishing did a few great videos, especially uh, during Movember. And um, I don't know, I just think it's something that should be talked about some more. So. My story with mental health issues goes back to probably when I was about 14, 15. I was always a bit weird in school. I, I, I still am, I don't know if you've noticed. I used to get picked on quite a lot, but at the same time I did have, you know, some fairly close friends as well. But um, it was probably about that 14, 15 year old age that uh, I started having biggest issues with depression. I guess I was also quite angry as well, but in general, quite self-destructive. Um, I guess that's when I started getting into more into music and stuff and, and writing and all that kind of creative stuff as well. It all, all kind of went hand in hand really. Between the ages of about 14 and 18 I guess I went through some different behavioural specialists and doctors and this kind of stuff that my mum used to take me along to to try and seek some help I suppose. Obviously she was struggling just as much as I was and um, this was also the kind of the same time I started discovering alcohol and drinking quite a lot as well So I wasn't the easiest kid to live with my dad actually kicked me out and never figured out why and Then we didn't speak for probably six or seven years Although we do still speak again now, but at, at the time this was only really depression And again, I guess quite a lot of anger against the world as well I, I don't really know. Well, I'm, I'm still angry against the world. I'm an angry young man and during this time I had a lot of problems with uh, sort of self-harm and suicidal thoughts as well. I don't want to go into that too much because that's probably one area of, of, of it that I don't feel too comfortable talking about. But um, I, I carried on struggling through anyway. And then the next real thing was as I was getting ready to go towards university, I was about uh, 19 at the time because I, I had a year out. Uh, through various reasons, not not most of them not mental health related, although it was a factor I suppose. But um, so when I went to university, I started suffering from anxiety, but I don't think I really realised what it was at the time. In fact, even as a little kid, as about eight and nine years old, I remember just being terrified about the thought of death and just lying in bed and just absolutely, you know, having panic attacks, basically. And uh, that's exactly what it felt like before going to university, but I didn't really know at the time what I was dealing with. So I was, you know, quite sick. I, was, I had a lot of, sort of stomach issues and stuff like that that um, I didn't really connect with the anxiety or anything at the time and again I didn't really know it was anxiety I just thought I was ill and for probably my first couple of semesters at uni I, there were only certain foods I'd eat because they were the ones that I knew I could eat without vomiting back up basically but it did get better and you know life life progressed a little bit I mean, I wasn't exactly that my happiest between those years at uni. I've been reading some of my journals recently, but I was surviving. Uh, and then in my third year at uni, my girlfriend at the time basically only agreed to go out with me if I went to counselling at the university, which actually was kind of a good call, but I, 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 I don't know about that. That seems weird now. But anyway, so I went along to counselling and then got put on some medication as well on citalopram, which is what I'd still take now. I actually took it for like a year and then came off it because I was doing a little bit better. And I, I was, this was when I graduated uni and got my first job and all this stuff. But, um, I, you know, I, I have my ups and downs. I always have and I still do. And uh, I carried on though. I, I cracked on with life. And then um, when I was about 24, 25, I was working at a company called FST. And work was pretty stressful. I'd actually had a lot of meetings at Google as well. Uh, we were working with YouTube, uh, with some big YouTube influencers on a campaign for a client. And so these meetings were super stressful. And then one evening after one of them, it was actually just a fairly normal meeting that went pretty well. But that evening, I remember I'd had stuffed mushrooms and I just basically projectile vomited everywhere. And that was the start of me having problems with my stomach for about three to six months. And accompanied with this was just really heavy anxiety. I was just convinced I was dying. Doctors didn't really know what to do. They took a few blood samples. At one point they took a blood sample, then lost it. And I had to take another blood sample. And uh, bear in mind, I passed out the first time they did it. Not because I don't like blood, but because I hadn't eaten or slept for like 36 hours because of the anxiety. So it got really bad. And then uh, eventually... I went to visit my mum who's a nurse, she actually works in elderly care, but she knows a consultant 
who basically did a few tests. He actually put me through an MRI machine as well. He wasn't supposed to do any of this. He was pulling a few strings. But um, in the end, he basically just diagnosed me with generalized anxiety disorder and IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, which I'd heard of both of them before. But during all the time I'd been going to my GP and whatnot for months on end, that had never really been suggested. So he put me on uh, citalopram. I'd previously been put on amitriptyline, which is another like antidepressant kind of thing, which, which didn't really work for me. It actually made things quite a lot worse. But going back on the citalopram helped and I started to get a bit better. And then uh, basically about three months after that, I ended up, it was, I'd, I went to Am Amsterdam, I think, not Glastonbury. I think it was one of the times I went to Amsterdam. And by that point, I still wasn't feeling well enough. Like I'd quit smoking, I'd quit drinking. Um, you know, I was trying to even eat as healthily as I could and all this stuff. And that kind of helps to, um, helps with the symptoms a lot, I guess. But it's still something that, that I manage over time. The IBS and the anxiety kind of go hand in hand as well. So if I get, if I eat something dodgy and get a, like, poorly stomach, then I start getting really anxious about it and thinking that I'm dying. But likewise, if I'm lying in bed and I start getting really anxious, then my stomach starts going. So um, I've not always had a particularly healthy relationship with food as well, but only recently, uh, since I went vegan, I've been eating healthier just purely because I've had to cook myself more meals. And that's had kind of a noticeable impact on my, on my stomach and therefore kind of on my anxiety. Uh, I don't know, it, my mental health is a bit up and down at the moment because it's a bit where the highs are really high and the lows are really low. So. But again, I'm just struggling on. I'm recording this on Boxing Day, so I think I'm through the other side of Christmas, which which is always something. So, yeah, I mean, I guess that's my story in a nutshell. It's just still something that I deal with every day and just try my best with. I actually have quite a supportive group of friends, quite a few friends as well who have anxiety issues or depression issues of their own as well. So it kind of makes it easier to speak to people when you know, you know, that they've... Um, got some experience of their own I guess and if you ever need someone to talk to let me know in the comments and I, I am terrible with comments I will get I will get to them eventually but actually if you want to email me you can email me at dankobain at hotmail.com and then I'll probably pick that up faster but um yeah there's always help out there I'll link to some organizations as well that you can reach out to if you're if you're having having thoughts and remember it's, it's kind of normal like uh, I, I think I don't know I'm starting to get uncomfortable about talking about this now. So I'm going to sign off. So anyway, on that note, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments what your experiences with anxiety and depression are, I guess. Uh, hit that like button if you found this video. Hit subscribe for more videos where I'll talk about books. Possibly anxiety causing and anxiety. Yeah, whatever. And uh, I'll see you soon for another one. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.